today I'll be showing you how to make the world's most simple and best fried rice. We start off with Portuguese sausage, but can be substituted for any type of sausage in your region. We're gonna use garlic, green onions, bell pepper for our vegetables. But once again, these vegetables can be substituted for any type of other vegetables within season and within your region. Today we have king crab legs because it was left over. This can be substituted with shrimp, fish, clams, or mussels. First thing we do is fry our sausage. And then we add in our rice. The secret to fried rice is the sauce. You can use an oyster sauce, but today we're using a vegetarian stir fry sauce, which is basically a vegan style of oyster sauce. It's sweet and salty and everything you need to make the perfect and best fried rice. Our greens actually are gonna be broccoli, but once again, this can be substituted for anything that you have in your refrigerator. We're gonna give this a nice toss and make sure everything is incorporated evenly. A very important ingredient when making the fried rice is black pepper. You can use regular black pepper, but for me personally, I like the fresh cracked black pepper, so we add in um, quite, quite a bit, um, just because it gives a super nice uh, flavor with that smokiness and the spice. Here, what I'm showing you is that um, we have a non-stick Teflon pan is um, what I like to use to cook the fried rice. Um, with the sugars and the oyster sauce, they tend to like stick and get stuck to the pan. But you can see as the rice sits in the pan, it develops a nice crust. And that's actually what we're looking for to get our fried rice. Um, it's almost done. We're gonna add in our crab meat, which pretty much comes at the end. Um, after this crab meat is added in, Next, we're gonna add in our bell peppers and green onion. So we're gonna give this all a nice little toss. As you can see, the black pepper and the oyster sauce is all incorporated nicely. The king crab is already cooked. Um, it's frozen, it's already cooked, so it just needs to heat up. And we use our green pepper, um, our green onion and our bell peppers last because they only wanna, um, you don't really gotta cook it through. You want the bell peppers to be a little bit crunchy to give some texture and then you don't want the green onions to get soggy. So we're done with the fried rice and next up is we're going to make um, fried eggs. Really simple recipe, um, black pepper, salt. I'm using olive oil here, but we're just gonna uh, high heat um, so that we create the bubbles and the airy crispiness in the egg white. Um, and you're gonna see what this is used for. Here we've got our um, high heat oiled uh, fried egg. So we have a crispy egg, um, with bright yellow yolks in the middle. And now we're gonna start putting together our fried rice breakfast wrap. We have a Sinaloa tortilla, which is made here in Hawaii, but you can use whatever you have within your region. Um, we're gonna place down some fried rice, as you can see. Um, about, you know, two cups worth of fried rice. And then we're gonna place our fried egg right on top of the rice. And if you um, have ever made a burrito, it's the, basically the same thing. Or if you're, if you ever made lumpia, it's really simple. Um, you're just gonna fold in the end, and then you're gonna come with the top and the bottom and fold those in, and then just give it a little tuck and a roll. Um, you're gonna see here, I have a little bit of a hard time because I'm trying not to break the yolk, but eventually I do get it. You're gonna tuck that in, you're gonna roll it, and then the secret here is we're gonna finish this um, wrap on a heated pan to get that tortilla crispy and also just so that everything can kind of stay together um, so it doesn't like fall apart. So you're gonna see this, we're gonna toast it up just a little bit, okay? After this, we're gonna place this on our cutting board and then we're gonna cut it in half and I'll show you what it looks like. So it's a, it's a little hot, but um, it's not, you know, it's, not, it's nothing that you can't manage, but yeah, I like to just go ahead and give it a diagonal cut um, just because it's easier to eat. Um, you start with the top side and then, you know, you work your way down the wrap. But yeah, you can see there that yolk is nice and oozing. We got that crispy fried egg whites 
and uh, we have our king crab and sausage fried rice so yeah please enjoy um here i'm just making the rest of the eggs uh, for my family um yeah i almost dropped that but i'm glad i got that uh, uh flipped over and we just take these fried eggs i think there's eight eggs here and we're just gonna put it right on top of the whole tray of fried rice and then if the kids want they can go ahead and make their own wraps and if not they can just eat it just like that all right guys enjoy